Hello everyone, so in the previous video we played these few games which was my pre-season friendlies and we played our first league game as well which we drew and the second one we won which was good for us. Now today we are coming back and the very first match is Isunderland on the EFL Cup. So that should be interesting because we want to advance with Carapao Cup but for now we just thought let's start by scouting players and one of those players i thought utabo tele because a lot of case chiefs fans were looking for utabo tele they wanted to scout him and in my team i have room for midfielders i'm not happy with the midfielders i have i can obviously do with more depth so we'll see what happens with him let's just scout him and see what happens so let's go and play our first game against the sunderland Someone wants to actually buy Mashiane. I won't sell him because I know as much as air corner would have a clear position, no land as a backup. I also want to give this young boy a chance to play as well. So I am definitely keeping him. So I appeal Agama Pupo. Let's go and play against the Sunderland. This is my starting 11. Let's go, boys. All right, let's go. Sunderland, we are away. We play the ball through. Yeah. Dolly, you're not supposed to be missing that. You are not supposed to be missing that. Such an easy chance. The ball. Once I see Dupree make that run in behind, he's gone. I actually thought they were catching up with him. And then he puts it behind. And then Chiefs 1-0 ahead away at Sunderland. Here we go. But then Sunderland were not going to take this lying down. They were like, we're coming back. And I always struggle with these things, guys. Like, I fail to keep a player facing away from my goal. And I end up conceding stupid, stupid goals. And here, I blamed the clinic. I said it wasn't strong enough. Because look at how they turn him. The ball goes into the box. The player just turns around with him. And then that's it. 1-1. One, one, and the game actually goes to penalties. Uh, I was shocked here over time my penalty. I thought there was going to be replay. Stupid replays. And look, surprise, surprise. Look who's taking the number five penalty. Itumelen Kune. Take the first pen. Kune Yangetla. That's a good save. But Cole also misses because the keeper guesses the right way. Second pen. Kuna Siangezans this time. That's a good save. KG, Net, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now they come for their third pen. Ah, they sent Kune the wrong way. I'm sure on Twitter would already be a meme. Kicken, Captain Fantastic. Dole, they save his pen again. He's not doing well these days. And he just plays it right through the middle. Mechi Kampelile. Okay, let's see Tove. No number seven, no akunge su number seven. Tove sends the keeper the wrong way. Now it's do or die. Both teams have missed the second pen. And these guys missed the third. And now it's up to Kune. Do you take it home for us? Come on, Itu. Itu. On to the next round. Let's celebrate, boys. Let's run with the captain. He's done a good job for us. Next game, we're playing a league game at home against the Bristol Rovers. My goodness, couldn't have started worse. We go behind on the 11th minute. And you think I'm going to come back, obviously. And I do. Kama smashes it. Very nice. It's a goal. But then these guys are just relentless and they keep on coming at us. And I, do, I make this stupid mistake. Instead of releasing the ball, I keep it. They win the ball pack. They score. They score the third one. At this point, I'm just fuming. And they were not done. They score the fourth one. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is happening? We're at home. And then they score the fifth one. Like Babugi Sangam, guys. And I. That's a good And they were not done. Look at this. If you count how many goals I considered in this game where I actually lost the ball. Again, this is the same story. I concede once again. Like how stupid can one be and still breathe? Again, another goal, seven. Imagine, they just jammed me. Like, Bangkla 7-1, these guys, and they don't care. 
like they don't care they just crushing me at home and surely my fans booed me after this game now it's time for the important stuff let's negotiate for Tele City he's important uh, to come and play in our team he's 25 so we're trying to get him a five-year deal until he's 30 so that we can have him we Premier okay but these guys want a three-year deal which makes sense for their client so I then accept because well I didn't want negotiations to break down uh, but what do you know release clause is obviously very important if someone wants to just trigger the release clause I set it to 5m but then again these guys thought nope that's too much let's make it 2.5 million uh, euros and I was like okay fine because again I'm trying to get this player only to screw myself over only to screw myself over with such a stupid thing because when it comes to his salary his salary I can be good to be good 2000 in the other team minanga kupula 100 it was a stupid mistake that I made because I usually don't give players signing bonuses because I found Uguti, I experimented and I found Uguti. It doesn't make a difference whether you add it or don't. But in this case, because the salary was too low, these guys just felt insulted by me doing that to them. So they just went like, ah, fam, we're leaving. We're getting out of here. And each manila salil bambi fika. And then these guys are gone. And I've lost a player because I was cheap. But then again, we go back and play against the Sheffield. And this is misery. Again, not even within 10 minutes, they score the first goal. And they are not done. They come back on the 12th, they score. At this point, I'm like, oh my goodness, this this time is not, I'm not performing well. Until I come back with seven scores. Then I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm back. In fact... I get another chance. You see, I can play Mangfuna and be patient and pass the ball nicely and play the player through. The next thing you know, it's a tie 2-2 two, two. in the 26 minutes. This game, Yeishi Sale, only for me to leave space in the middle, concede another goal. 3-2, the game is over. I lose again. And then I go to EFL Cup. At least, but still, concede. In massacre, I tell you, this video, I hope, is the worst video, like, with the most losses I ever get. Because look at this. I'm a team Jai Tolele game. Benza Jumata and Dawabu, guys. My voice. Ishile, but I have to record this video because I have to upload today. And here we go. I thought I was back, like I'm changed. I even changed the formation to 424. And then these guys were like, not yet to Huru. The mistake I made, I shouldn't have gone across there because I left the other guy unmarked. Then I lost. And then next, you are you counting how many games I've lost in this save? That That's just unfortunate. The keeper saved the ball, but then at the end of the day, it falls to them. They come back, they score. Oh. The pain, the pain in the save, the pain, guys. True ball smashes it, smashes it across. Came on, right? That's what you think. Cause I score, but then I'm vuz, 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 I'm vuz. Here we go again. Take him on, play the ball through. Sambilegela, 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 sambilegela. But that's a that's what I'm talking about. 80th minute, these guys come back on the 88th. They crush my feelings once again because that's what they do. In traumatize guys like Kiriamut. As the pale and jelekimle, Beguna Kulogudi wow, quasi one zim. Anning Sizena Kunklok defend a webant. Hey, Yakumindug. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.